This afternoon we're going to make some butternut squash lasagna. Obviously from what I've put out prior I have no problem with eating meat but I also don't think that every meal needs to include meat so this one we're going with a meat free recipe. Our filling to our lasagna is going to be butternut squash and then we're going to have some spinach and do something with that as well. So to start it off I've got two butternut squash here halved. We've got the seeds scooped out. To that I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil. Some garlic powder. Black pepper. Salt. And a little bit of oregano. I have the oven set to about 375. Because these are smaller squash, they're going to cook a little bit faster, so I'm going to check them at an hour, but I expect it to be between an hour and 90 minutes. We just want to make sure that the flesh of the squash is nice and soft so we can scoop it out. Um, while the squash is cooking, that's a good time to make our pasta if we're going to make it ourselves. Again, the kind of standard recipe for pasta is one egg per cup of flour. For lasagna noodles, maybe throw an extra egg yolk in there, just give it a little bit more richness. Roll out your pasta. And then the thing we want to do different is with the lasagna, we're going to pre-cook it. And to do that, all you do is get a pot of water boiling like you're going to cook it normally, throw your lasagna in. But you're only going to want to cook it for 30 seconds to a minute and then you're going to pull it out. It's not going to be completely cooked but obviously it's going to finish cooking when we put our lasagna together and start to bake that as a whole. So again we're going to get these in the oven 60 to 90 minutes, check them, and get going on the pasta. So the butternut squash is done. I pulled that from the oven. We're going to let it cool for a moment and while it's cooling we're going to get started on our spinach filling. I've got some olive oil heated up over medium. I'm gonna throw in some minced garlic. We're gonna let this cook a little bit. Once we have it fragrant, cooked down a little bit, we're gonna add some rough chopped spinach and saute that. Once our spinach is cooked, we're going to turn the heat down to low. We're going to add some ricotta cheese and just get it all mixed up together. I'm going to leave this on low and just keep it warm until we're ready to use it. I'm going to keep an eye on it and make sure that it's not boiling or cooking or anything like that. I just want to keep it at a uh, liquid consistency so it's easier to work with when the time comes. Now it's time to come back to our squash. All I'm going to do is scoop out the flesh and get it into a food processor in the wells. You can see that some of our olive oil has pulled up in there. We want to make sure to keep all that and get that into the food processor with the flesh. So I'm going to work on scooping this out. Once it's all in, I'm going to puree it in the food processor. But obviously that's a fairly loud process, so I'm going to do that all off camera. Now that we've got all our ingredients ready to go, 
All we have to do is assemble our lasagna. So we're going to start with the thin layer of the squash at the bottom and we're going to do this just to make sure that our noodles don't stick to the pan. To start with the layer of noodles. I did a terrible job at making my noodles consistent size but it should work out just the same. And we've got another layer of squash. top of that we're going to put some of our spinach mixture top with some mozzarella cheese and repeat. Our last step is going to be to cover it with foil. We're going to pop it in the oven at 375 and cook for about 45 minutes. In the last 10 minutes, if you want a little bit crispier on the top and around the edges, you can pull the foil and throw it back in. But that should be our last step. So I realized that I've said, and there we have it at the end of almost every one of these videos, but I don't really know how to close it any other way. So there we have it. When we pull it out, let it cool for about 15 minutes and we're ready to eat.